Hello everybody. Good evening. Good evening Reaper people. Today we're working on a fucking amazing sculpt. This guy is really, really good. So we're gonna be working on a on an orky boy. Uh, as I said during Anna stream, I want to, I want to play with leathers. Um, and uh, this is a fun this is a fun model, man. This is a fun looking model. For those of you who don't watch my stream, I was working on this dwarfy boy on my own stream. Been uh, been doing quite a, quite a lot of work actually. Uh, cleaning up uh, everything that you see painted and uh, painting all the details. Just got the little sad crow painted. Look how sad he looks. Look how, don't you want to give him a little kiss? Look how sad he looks. He's so sad. He's so sad. But yeah, we, uh, we've been doing... Yeah, we got the face right. It's been a... It's been a... Quite a bit of work, but hey, I think I got it right. So yeah. The guy is looking pretty good. I like it in general. I think I'm doing really well on him. I'm very happy with the painter. So, let's get to work on the Orky boy. Um, I already primed the mini actually. I gave it, well, I didn't really prime it. I, I um, painted the, I didn't, what the fuck am I talking about? I gave it, an airbrush with a color because the reaper minis you don't need to airbrush to prime technically so i just airbrushed the color on to without primer but the color that i airbrushed is like a, a this dark umber it's like a gray brown i think it works as a base coat so i already kind of know how i want the guy to look like so <clears throat> should be pretty fun and uh, simple to get the skin done if I manage to get the skin done in time, I want to work on the leathers because I need to start from the skin because, you know, skin is very important. But <clears throat> after that, we can work on the leathers because I really want to do the leathers. I'm just adding a bunch of colors for the skin. I need a red. Uh, can be this. There we go. So we're gonna. I, this paint job will be very different from this because this one is ex very very cold. Uh, this one is gonna be very very warm. I wanna. I wanna take this guy more around these kind of colors because I think he looks good. Also, the skin will be orange because. Uh, I'm sick of painting or, or looking at green orcs. So this guy will be like uh, Garrosh from uh, from uh, Warcraft. So let's get to work on the skin. Can you see everything? I think you can. So let's start with a darker base coat color. And from there we will be moving on. So again, start from the shadow in this case. You can start from whatever color you want, really. If the primer allows it, you can start from the light. <clears throat> in this case, though, very, very simple workup. Shadow into mid to, into light. This guy, though, is a really, really good mini. Um, I think I threw, yeah. I threw the box away. I don't know the name of this dude, but man, like, I really highly suggest it. It's a very, very nice canvas to work on for textures if you want to do them. Like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give my all to this paint job. This one is gonna be a 100% BBD paint job. I'm not gonna alpha anything. This model deserves it. I showed Buglips Throne Lady last night and I've forgotten what word he used. Exemplary, I think. We agreed that you just keep getting it. Thank you. He he wrote me a message on Discord earlier. To tell me that he loved it.
But yeah, this dude, I'm gonna go all in on it. So, might take a couple of streams, even though it's a small mini. I only have two hours to work on it every week. But I think that in two streams we'll be done with him. Depending on how complex I want to make the leather, which I do want to make fairly complex actually. So again, starting from a dark color. And then we're gonna be just quickly sketching in. What a nice, nice model, man. Whoever worked on this sculpt needs to needs to be needs to be hired to do a lot more. Like they do understand sculpting really well. So, dark color, Bobby Jackson. I always like his skulls, that's true. Man, Bobby. You the man. Bobby boy. Well done. Okay, straight into mid-tone. Let's see if it covers. Uh, it does, but I'm going to have to fight it a little bit. Guess who sculpted the Norkers? Bobby. Man, why don't they just... Bobby needs to do, like, a lot more. If you ever see him, tell him I love him. I'm his greatest fan. Thank you. 
Hopefully it doesn't look like much just yet. But for the skin tone, to be honest, I'm fairly confident on uh, on the direction to take it. So I think I already see it in my mind finished in a way. So when that happens, usually it means it's going to go smoothly. Hello Asgard, how you doing dude? regular uh, having a, a slightly bad day but I'll be fine how you doing oh you reset that you're okay okay nice glad you are so let's move on into a light Pushing it a bit <clears throat> further than I would normally do, just so the color covers. Because when you're working with, like in this case, orange is the color of the skin, right? If I were to just try to get coverage off of an orange, I would have to start from basically a white primer. So the best way to get coverage out of colors that don't cover, like orange, magenta, yellow, is to just add white. this in with a bit more orange added in
Hey, look at her. You can see I can go over the light. I can go over the light with this layer and the light is gonna turn more orange. And since I'm not going over just the light, but also a bit of the shadow next to it, the orange is blending those two together. No dwarves? No, not this time. In the box of dwarves there was randomly this guy in and I actually like him a lot. This is Donald Dior. He's gonna he's gonna build a dungeon and have the paladins pay for it. Yeah, just working on making the, <clears throat> the legs a bit more 3D.
This is a 3D printed holder that uh, my friend uh, Joe sent me. It's very nice. Works pretty well. I like it. Is it better than Games Workshop? The Games Workshop one is a bit more um, ergonomic. But I like this one too. I mean, the, the handle itself is ergonomic. Uh, I wish this one was a little, like, two centimeter more longer, so it, my hand could actually fit holding it. But besides that, I think it's really good. Okay, so you can see we have some sexy legs. Look how sexy this leg is. With that, we can uh, we can work a bit more on the face. I'm actually gonna be leaving the forehead as it is because I want it to be. In shadow, I want to. Uh, I want to paint a casted shadow there. Like, for example, if I bring back the line here. So the helmet is casting a shadow onto the face, because if light is coming from above, it will hit the helmet and not the face. And then we need to light that up. And I can literally use a gray to do it. I have wet paint there. So like if I zoom in, you can probably see the effect. Already starting to happen, right? 
<clears throat> Alright. I can go lighter. Yellow to maintain saturation. Too light. One second. Okay, it's getting there. Just really want a very, very warm light on this guy. Like he's a desert. Uh, like he's a desert or. As always, if you guys have questions, feel free to ask. Okay. Probably paint the eyes. Um, the eyes need a bit of blue in them. It's a bit difficult to get to them, but I'll do it.
Okay. is very dry for some reason okay Okay, so one is done, gotta get the other in. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Uh... I love painting as I means because it feels like you're doing a freaking Kama Sudra. Trying to move it around. Just to get the angle more or less right. I think I need to replace the sponge on my web palette. Yours is not sitting on top of water like mine is. Well, if you put too much water in it, it will be sitting on top of water. Maybe you're just putting too much water, no? Low metal. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah, you have to replace it. When that happens, you gotta replace it. Let me change brush. No, uh, it's not this one. Yeah, the paper towel thing works. Right, but it wasn't.
Okay, almost. Just need to clean up the part around the eye. Okay, we got it. The breath of life in our boy. Did you leave it with water in it for a long time though? Because for example I noticed my green stuff world sponge kinda dies on me if I don't let it dry. A good thing for you to try would be to let the sponge dry and then get it wet again and then kinda crumpling in your hand a lot. Uh, that will revive it. So, let's continue on. I just want to do all the details as I go. Kind of start sketching in the puppet a little bit more. Yeah, I wonder what kind of chemicals they put in it.
Do you think they put land obsolescence in their uh, in their sponges so you keep buying them? Like a sponge technically should last forever, no? It's a sponge, I mean. Yeah, but like, these sponges, it's not like they break down, they just don't work anymore. I don't know how to explain it. Gidens dwarves, if you have coins. Gizargo thinks you are a flat. <laughs> I love Gizargo. Best character in all of Bethesda games. I would like more color into this light, so I'm just gonna 
painting this layer. Uh, what are you doing? Hello, studio. Thank you. We just quite begun the paint job. Uh, I can show you, I mean, uh, I can show you something that I've worked a bit more time on. Still not finished, but just to give you an idea. But this dude, this dude is a fun little orc and I'm having fun with it. It's a really cool guy. Just give me a second, okay? I'll be back in a minute. It's already 9 p.m., dude. Like, I just spent an hour working on this. <clears throat> How the fuck did I spend an hour working on this? That's not right. Whatever, I guess. <clears throat> Although it's weird because, like, in an hour, you would expect me to have done a lot more progress.
He was on a beat after that. Very weird, man. Very weird. But yeah, this is a this is a welcome guy. I can show you other minis that I've done from for Reaper, for example. This is another miniature for Reaper that I painted here on the stream. I really like the gem on the on the arm. The gem really turned out nice. I really like it. Hello. Um, we have this dude that I painted for my Patreon. With a bunch of, of course, what armor. Bunch of minis. I'm working on this one as well for my Patreon. Went flying. So yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what we do. Paint puppets. Just gonna quickly smoke a cigarette, and then we're gonna be back on this dude. I'm not even gonna finish with really. I wanna paint. Kinda of really weird that I didn't get that much done. Alright. Let's keep going man. I wanna I wanna end the stream in a condition where at least something looks finished. <laughs> okay, back to the nometallics. Um Getting, uh, I've been having fun lately with uh, some textured non-metallic, so that's what we're going for on this dude. I've been so bad irresponsible, there are seven of these guys. Seven! Ah, this is the one they gift you when you, when you buy a lot of minis. Turner died. No. Well, she was very old, wasn't she? Hola, Mortito. Eh? Ah, okay. Mira la nita, que guay que está. Pintado el pájaro también. Sí, no, he puesto toda mi alma en el pájaro y pintando. Absorbido. Pero está bien, guay, ¿no? Sí, a ver, cuando pintas el brazo, dice que me mira sí, todo, verle así de marrón. Después de tu ducha. Eighty-three. Yeah, that's a shame, dude. What a shame. Oh yeah, she did a lot in these eighty-three years, so I hope she passed away peacefully, but 
I don't think she... I mean, I don't know, but like, somebody like her, who has achieved all the things she has, should have been satisfied with life. So as I said, I want to spend some time on this dude because I think he deserves it. I I want to paint him kind of like as if I was on a... Like as if it was a proper commission. Ghost did a cover of one of her songs, so I had to listen to that, and we were talking about Mad Max. I feel like we killed her. <laughs> we didn't kill her. <laughs> you didn't kill her, Pindley. Don't worry about it. Like I, I feel like I fell a bit short on the shadows. So now a little bit of them back in. But seriously, this model can be like super, super, uh, super interesting to paint. I do suggest it to anybody, especially if you want to do like some. Serious painting in a way.
Okay. Probably I am exaggerating a little bit the effort. It's like I'm going for a very difficult section to do on such a small me, but I think it's starting, uh, it's working out. See, like, rather than build up the colors through blends, I'm building it up overlapping it in textures. So I'm not actually blending anything, even though it looks like I am. What I'm doing is adding informations. Really, you like it? I will need to repaint the right eye, by the way, because uh, something went wrong in there. You know who I hope never dies? The composer of this music. Because when he dies, the world will be left without, without music. Like, people will still play songs and sing them, but uh, it's not gonna be the same. We're gonna have to find a way to, to cope with that loss, I think. And I don't think we can as a species, you know? Enough of that for a second, let me just redo the eye real quick. this one. It's 
to me that one day I'll finish. Thank you. I'm not familiar with uh, with Nick Lund. Old school sculptor and artist. Famous for his orcs and dwarves. Huh. I don't have him. Something that I need to work on is my culture when it comes to these kind of things. Because I don't have much of a culture for uh, fantasy artists. Like, I know the big ones, you know, Frazetta, Valeria, Bonner. But besides them, not much more. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you know, a big career. Yeah. All right, gonna go back to the skin one second. To now that I have some of the colors of the metal visible, I can revisit the skin and improve it. If there is one takeaway to take from my painting on this Reaper skin, is the importance to move between details. very easy to get over focused on one single thing and not see the full picture so sometimes even with a bit of effort you might want to switch details as you work on the model
I wonder what happened to those companies. Like, they were titans back in the days, and then they kind of went poop. Like, I think, I think Grenadier went bankrupt. But like, how can the biggest company in the hobby go bankrupt? I guess like all company, somebody made a bad call, but... Okie dokie. Uh, bit of white here, a bit of grey. And all of my paints are dried, like my my humidifier ran out of water. And like the moment it ran out of water, my paints just That is actually impressive. Well, rest in pain. Yeah, painting uh, painting in this condition is uh, not the funnest experience. Let me tell you. All right.
Yeah, it's like I'm working with gum. The paint is so gummy. Oh my god. Oh my god! <clears throat> I need to remind myself next uh, next Wednesday to actually reload the and the BBD before I go live. There we go. A bit better with the new paint, but not great. All right. So one thing I wanted to do was a leather. Today. So well, let's do that. I want to do the. It doesn't matter what. The loincloth, the jacket, but. One thing will be leather. Let's do. Yeah, let's do the loincloth. So I want. I want it to be brownish. get a brown this would be the mid-tone of it Man, this orange I'm using though has like zero freaking coverage, it's incredible. Like you add it to another color and it doesn't cover. It's not a bad orange, but like the coverage is just terrible. Okay, so we can add a bit of light and then start texturing it up.
Okay. Okay, I like it. So we can just go lighter and continue it. Just a just a simple build up. Thank you, Asgard. Just a simple build up of color that you do through again textured brush strokes. And by texture textured brush stroke, I mean you're not really painting. You're just adding the color in places in such a way that they create like there's a jaggedness to the color. An important thing when working on leather is that you want this jaggedness to be very random, which means you never should paint it in repetitive motions. So like if you do many vertical lines, for example, or stuff like that, it's not going to work out quite as well because leather is unpredictable in the way it looks. So if you give people a leather and you show them a leather that you painted that has very predictable lines in it, like repetitive lines in it, it's not going to look quite as real. What you want to do is you want to kind of let just let go and uh, be as random as you can be. What is important to understand is that you want to leave some space between your colors because leather is basically a material that has cuts and, and holes and stuff in it, right? That's why we're painting it like this and not super blended. So if you if you if in your dotting around you lose the previous level of light because you go completely over it then you're losing the effect of the leather but besides that it's not that much more to say about leather in general it's just a very simple thing that said on bigger minis it gets tough uh, on a small mini noise will get you to get it nice on a, on a bigger mini uh, you you might have some problems with it because the the pattern of the leather needs to be a bit more refined than just random lines and stuff
Now, another important thing to know about leather is that you're going to be adding yourself a lot of light colors uh, to get the texture to stand out as you paint it. So you're going to be very, like, rough in the texturing in a sense of color gradients. So a very good thing to do is to go back to the original color, like the actual color of the leather, and give it, and give it a bit of a... Glaze. That way you lose a little bit of contrast, but the color gets to be a bit more lively and uh, and makes sense in a sense. And that doesn't stop you from just redoing the lights if you want. Like, I can go back to my lights now with this glaze placed in and further the texture. So I don't have to go lighter in color. I can just use my previous highlight because it is now darker due to the glaze and redo some of extreme lights. And then like at the corner of the thing. I like it. I like it. What color should the shirt underneath be? Well, so far we only have orange as a color, so... It can be red. I don't want to split complementary. So I don't want a complementary color. Uh, This part is pretty cool because we can just do this. Like I pick my orange as the main color. And it shows me the split complementary or, or triadic. I actually don't like either of these. Uh, I mean green can work I guess. It is one of the things that on, on display minis I need to work on a bit more. Because like for example on this guy I did do a leather on the backpack but I don't like it. it I mean it's getting there but not quite. So I need to I need to work more on it on this. Like no metallic skin, beard, like all of this stuff I think I got pretty un understood in terms of how I want to execute it. Uh, but the leather I'm not entirely sure about. So it will be fun to go back to him Friday and try to experiment a bit more on that. No, I, I don't paint it very often, no.
Hello, Eat. How you doing, dude? Hello, Nikki. Thank you. Ah, the wait, these guy. I don't know how it holds up to my bank into up to date, to be honest. Not too well. Not too well. <sighs> it's okay, go go pick your kids. Have a fantastic day, thank you for the raid. I was building in tails. Ah, nice. Good stuff. Enjoy, enjoy your time with your kids. We'll be seeing you later. Just blocking out them the jacket here so I can so I don't have the gray bothering me. Yeah. Just gonna be remixing a bit more of my green. Need to be a little bit darker too here, so I can uh, work. Shadows in there. I actually probably gonna be glazing all over what I painted and then repaint the lights again on top of this. It's a lot faster that way.
Yeah. I would like to have like a smaller brush, but I don't think I have it available right now. like just building I don't know if you can see it but like very very soft texture to make it look like it's like a shirt the more I paint the more I maniacally want to texture everything in my painting It doesn't do much in terms of like impact. It's like from from a distance, like the distance you're looking at, looks blended. But up close, it isn't, and that that increases the amount of discovery. You know, like it's a bit difficult to explain. But like the way they told me, somebody once told me that a good way of imagining good painting is that um, you want to make the paint job impressive enough from far away so that the people look at hello how are you doing man so that the people that look at it will want to pick it up but once it has been picked up they need to find something new in it that they didn't see from far away in a way that's the difference between true display painting and tabletop For example, this guy, you're like, oh, nice colors on the jacket or whatever, and you pick it up and you go, oh, wait a second, this is all texture. That's pretty cool. That's kind of the idea. After I left at a really great evening at an Italian restaurant for pizza. Oh, nice. I didn't know they made pizza outside of Italy, to be honest. Yes, we heard. I'll, I'll 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 check it out. Wait, can I check it? Ah, yeah, because I'm on my own stream page. Shh! What the hell is that? Ah, the, okay, I see the pizza now. Man, that that looks tasty. Holy shit! Man, that looks really good. I want it now. That actually looks really good. Never.
Yeah, pizza in Italy is less expensive than pizza for some reason. I don't know why, but it is. Okay. That's cute though that they do that. That is actually very cute. Like you have nice colleagues, man. They could have just as easily fucking leave you alone. But it's nice that they actually try to, to get you to go with them. That's very nice, man. Yeah, we did. Uh, I did a lot of work on this guy today. I'm actually pretty happy with how it looks. So yeah, we are trying you know, to apply stuff on the puppet. I like I like these these reaper streams because I don't really have uh, a quality I need to achieve with these minions. And that allows me to, to try things out on them. 
You can imagine seeing your reflection if you pick it up. I don't know if it's that good, but thank you, man. All right, my friends. Our time is over for today. Feel like uh, feel like it's coming along. I'm liking him. We're gonna we're gonna make him work. Yeah, I like him. So if you guys want to, you can join me on my own Twitch stream. The links are in the chat. Thanks to Quindly. Tomorrow I'll be working on my Patreon. So if you want, you can check that out as well. I have stupid amount of guides in there and i think they're good so if you want to you can check it out and with this i'll be seeing you all i wish you a fantastic rest of day so take care right have a good one bye bye, bye.